Can I have whoever's next, please? Just give me a smile and tilt your head a little more. A little more. A little more. Do you just want me to keep my head on my shoulder like this? That's perfect. Just keep your head just like that. And there we go. Oh my god, this can't be happening again. This is the worst picture ever! That is not going to happen to me again. Why can't I just use a selfie as a school photo? So the first thing I'm going to do is take my L'Oreal foundation and apply that all over my face because when you apply regular foundation instead of BB cream, BB cream tends to give you a glossier, more greasier glow and with regular foundation it makes it more matte which you really want for pictures because you don't want to look like a giant grease ball at pictures. And I also apply it down to my neck because pictures usually often show your neck to your top of your head. So I just applied it all over my face with my fingers. Then after that I take my Wet n Wild concealer and apply it underneath my eyes and places where I have blemishes at that I really do not want to show. So I just blend that in with my finger. And then after that I just take a pressed powder and apply it all over my face and try to set any anywhere that needs to be set. Um, I also like to use a matte one that doesn't have shimmers in it because shimmer will affect the lighting when you take your picture. When the light flashes go off, it will show a lot. So try to stick to matte finished products during this whole entire tutorial. And next I am taking a tapered foundation brush and applying it underneath my eyes where I set my concealer and also taking my fingers just to make sure everything down and with my concealer is all set and all blended out well because I really don't like dark circles during pictures they just bother me and next I am taking my kahuki brush and translucent powder and setting my t-zone to make sure the greasiness of my face doesn't show because this is where the place where my foundation tends to move and this just helps set it in and makes it more secure and won't shine as much and next I'm taking my NYX matte bronzer and applying it to my cheekbones, temples, and forehead. This just really helps with showing your bronzy glow and it looks really good for pictures and matte also helps. And you also want to try smiling when you're doing this because it's when you're taking your picture you're smiling. So you want your bronzer to show when you're smiling, not making your little duck faces or whatever they're called. And after that I am taking my spoolie and spooling out my eyebrows and after that I'm just going to fill them in with a angled brush and a dark powder from the Coastal Sense pa palette and just filling them in like I normally do. For eyeshadow, I am taking a matte shadow, which is the my bronzer actually, and just blending that in my crease, and this just gives it a really good, I don't even know how to describe this, um, a really good glow, I guess, and just I'm blending that all out, and then after that I'm going to be taking a tapered brush with a brown and blending it in. And this is just really nice for pictures, it's really natural, it opens up your eyes, and I just really love this makeup look for pictures.
And this is something I usually never really do is just take a white shadow and blend it into the browns. With the white shadow it really opens up your eyes and makes it really natural looking. And I just love the way it looks for pictures because it just opens up your eyes and it just looks so nice. And now I'm just going to blend the white shadow into the browns and orange shadow. It just gives it the perfect look. Next I'm drawing a really thin line above my lashes with liquid eyeliner. You can't see again because my hand is in the way. But I like the thin line because you don't want your eyes to look closed. And it just gives your eyelashes more intense. Next I am just curling my eyelashes and then applying my mascara which is the L'Oreal Mega, Mega, I don't know how to say it, it's just on the bottle, it's on the commercials all the time. And this just really gives it nice volume and length which I really like and it looks like you're wearing falsies but you're not and I also apply it to my bottom eyelashes. And next, I'm just going to finish off the look with the Rebel on Lip Butter in this pink color. And that is it. That is your finished picture day look. Well, some tips and tricks for your picture day. I have listed some here on this notebook. And, and some stuff I've experienced over the couple of years in my horror story of pictures. So, the first thing is, if you have thin hair like I do, or some like thinner hair than even I do, um, I suggest not going with straight hair because I know for me, this is my sh like straight hair for me, and it's literally to my face, and I feel like when I take pictures, it just looks too flat. Um, this is a personal preference thing. Um, you curl your hair, and like I brush it out, the curls, like I'm sh gonna show you in this tutorial, this video, I mean. Um, it gives you a lot more value and get, takes a more of the picture and it doesn't look so flat to your face But that's just all depending on you. I know people with thicker hair they have like tons of hair They can do straight hair and it looks super awesome But personally for me, I don't like straight hair in pictures. I haven't done straight hair since fourth grade All the pictures from then on are like curly hair because I noticed straight hair does not look good in those pictures and if you are gonna do straight hair, I suggest teasing it using dry shampoo and hairspray to give you a lot more volume. It just looks so much better, trust me. And another tip is green chapstick. Um, my lips get really chapped, and I know last year we I, for my picture days we took it on registration, and we waited outside for a good two hours before I got my picture. And I was wearing a long sleeve t-shirt and jeans, and it was 92 degrees outside. I was literally like, my face was about to dripping sweat, my hair was sticking to my face, oh it was just awful, and my lips were sure were chapped and I was like, ah, like what am I gonna do? So I suggest bringing like a, either lip balm, an EOS, anything you can stick kind of in your back pocket because I don't know if you want to bring a whole purse to your registration or your picture day or whatever, how you guys do it, but bring chapstick, it just helps, or lip balm or lipstick, so it's not like gross lips. Um, the next thing is baking soda teeth scrub. Um, it just makes your teeth a lot whiter and it's just like you don't have to pay $12 for them to whiten your teeth. Just, just something that's just you want to do if you want to do it, if you don't. The next thing is stay away from dark makeup. When you're wearing dark makeup, it just makes your eyes look smaller than bigger. If you do your makeup natural, it draws attention to your eyes and actually lightens them, like makes them bigger. But if you want to do dark makeup, it's up to you. It's just it's harder to see with your eyes when you're wearing such dark makeup. So those are my tips and tricks, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you guys want some more back to school videos, make sure you guys leave a comment down below and like this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.